Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I will be reacting to Maxton Hall, season one, episode six, which is the last episode of the season. Um, I apologize for not uploading this reaction video sooner and for the delays. I've been so busy lately and I had some problems making this video, but I was finally able to get this video up. I just wanted to say that while many other reactors have other people helping them edit and upload their videos, I film, edit and upload my own videos all by myself. I don't have anyone helping me, so it takes longer for me to upload these reaction videos. But I really appreciate everyone's support and patience, so thank you so much. And please bear with me while I try to get these videos up as soon as I can. Um, but anyways, last time I reacted to Maxton Hall episode 5, so just a quick recap of what happened in episode 5. Um, so James's father, he went to look for James at the um, fancy party or gala at Maxton Hall to look for James because James had disobeyed his father by going to the gala instead of the conference dinner to launch the new Yum Beaufort line and he caught James and Ruby kissing. He was very angry and he, scold, he scolded James and they got into a big argument over James's relationship with Ruby and James's father, he threatened to destroy Ruby and her family's lives if James did not break up with Ruby and leave her alone. So because of his father's threats, um, James's, James, he started to ignore Ruby and keep his distance from her and gave her the cold shoulder, which hurt Ruby. So now their relationship is really tense, like it was in the beginning. Um, last episode, we also saw more of James's mother and there were some very deep and heartfelt scenes and conversations between James and his mother. I really like James's mother. She was very nice and compassionate, and I'm glad we finally saw more of his mother. In but I'm worried that something bad is going to happen to the mother because we did not see a lot of her in the previous episodes, and then suddenly she had a lot of scenes in episode 5. I don't know. I just have a feeling that something bad is going to happen to her. I hope I'm wrong. I, I hope that she's going to be okay because... I really like James's mother and I don't want anything bad to happen to her. Um, anyway, another major thing that happened in episode 5 is that towards the end of the episode, we saw that James's sister Lydia is pregnant with the teacher's baby. The teacher that she was secretly dating, I think his name is Mr. Sutton, I think. So yeah, things are very complicated now between James and Ruby but also with Lydia's relationship with the teacher and now James's relationship with his father is also very tense so everything is complicated now um, but on a happier note um, both James and Ruby they got accepted into Oxford I'm very happy for both of them and the episode basically ended with both of them go into Oxford and they ended up with dorm rooms right next to each other. So that's basically how the episode ended. So now let's get into episode 6 and see what happens. Oxford is so beautiful. It's so big. This was the guy that she met in the last episode. And that's us. Jude. Okay. Hi. Oh, he is jealous. <laughs> of course, he's going to be jealous. Seeing her talking to another guy. Im Interview Nummer 1. 
wollen die Profs ein Gefühl dafür bekommen, wie gut ihr kritisch denken und einen eigenen Standpunkt zu einem Thema entwickeln könnt. Im Interview Nummer zwei geht es darum zu sehen, wie ihr unter Druck reagiert und arbeitet. Und dann im dritten und letzten Interview... Oh, and they end up in the same class. Of course. Gosh, is there gonna be like a love triangle situation going on? Oh. Oh. Ooh. I think ooh. I like that um James did that. Holding holding her hand, telling saying good luck to her. I think I think that was probably James's way of telling Ruby that everything's okay, that deep down he still loves her and that there is a reason why he's keeping his distance from her and it's not because that he doesn't love her or doesn't care about her, it's because he loves her um, that he's keeping his distance. He's trying to protect her. But he wants, also wants to reassure Ruby that his feelings for her are genuine. between them it's so frustrating like I wish you know either James or Ruby just go over there and talk to the other oh yeah mm -hmm. yeah she's pregnant so she can't drink alcohol hmm I wonder how long she's able to keep this a secret James is so obvious with his jealousy. <laughs> I'm glad we're getting more interactions between Ruby and Lydia. We really haven't had many scenes with them together. Mm, is she going to figure it out? Yeah, it's it's kind of obvious. Her holding, you know, placing her hand on her belly like that. Hmm, yeah, I, I, I didn't think that Lydia was going to get an abortion or anything. I had a feeling that she was going to keep the baby, yeah. That's true. Jacinta was pregnant and did have a baby while she was still in office. I really like how these two are bonding. They're sort of bonding because in the past there was like tension between them. They did not like each other, but... Ich 
Sie haben das Gefühl, dass alles möglich ist. Egal, was für eine scheiß Situation das ist. Von redest du? Willst du mir sagen, dass du nicht merkst, wie er leidet? Er hat mit mir Spaß gemacht. Ich weiß, es ist der größte Liebesbeweis, die Liebe lieben loszulassen. Yeah, well, that's true, that's true. Like, sometimes, when you love someone, you let them go. It's true. I always thought that, you know, she, deep down she knew that something was going on, that something happened between James and his father. And why, you know, he was acting that way and ignoring her. But she, I don't think she knew what exactly happened. She just knew that perhaps, you know, James's father got into his head or something, or his father at least was involved somehow. She just didn't know what exactly happened between him and his father. But what Lydia said um, basically just reaffirms to Ruby that, you know, James's feelings towards her are real and that he really does love her, just like she knew. I think deep down she knew all along, all along that he, he really does love her and what they share, their feelings for each other are real and genuine. Was soll Veränderung unbedingt was Schlechtes bedeuten? Kommt auf die Veränderung an, oder? Mm, that's true. You know, sometimes changes can be good and changes can be bad. Bad. It really just depends on what kind of changes they are. You know, some changes can be good for you, can be beneficial, and some changes. Wie lief der Gespräch heute? can have a negative effect. It really just depends. In Lydia's case, ooh, I'm not sure. She's still young. She's still just a student, you know, and she's carrying a baby at such a young age. What makes things worse is that the father of her baby is her teacher. So mm, that's very problematic. It's going to cause some problems. Is he going to sit next to her? Oh, no. What's his name again? Jude. Uh, why do I have a feeling that this new guy, Jude, is going to cause some problems between James and Ruby? I feel like he's going to come between them, maybe. There definitely feels like there's going to be like a like a love triangle situation going on. Mm. James can sense that there's something between Ruby and this new guy, perhaps. Just the way that Ruby looks at him. Yeah, like the way she looks at him. I don't know. Like, she seems like she's attracted to him. <laughs> this is just him being jealous. Uh oh. Ooh, okay. That last comment really hit a nerve. Yikes. Oh my gosh, they're starting to fight again. She's right. She's right. Mm. I feel like this is deja vu. <laughs> 
remember, I think it was way back in season two, or not way back in episode two or episode three. Ruby, she's like you know, she scolded James and like insulted him in front of the whole class, <laughs> and he left the classroom. This feels like deja vu. But it's true. It's it, it's true. What she said is true. Like he is just following his parents' orders, doing what his father tells him to do without standing up for himself. Was ich hier sage, dass du recht hast. Ich muss meinen Leben fremd bestimmen. Ich tue mir verzeihen für Dinge, die Lüge, verstecke, was ich gerade wirklich fühle, aber ich lasse mich dafür nicht von dir verurteilen. Ich werde jetzt alles nur für dich tun. Wovon redest du? Vergiss es. Yeah, yeah, like the, yeah, it's true, like the only... It's obvious that he's hurting, like he's doing all of this, he's ignoring her, he ignored her, you know, kept his distance from her, dumped her because he was trying to protect her. And it's obvious that he's really hurt. That it hurt him to do this to Ruby. Just tell her the truth, James. Just tell her the truth, Ruby. Tell her that it was your father who threatened her and her family. Come on, kiss already. Kiss and make up. Oh, finally. I've been waiting for this since last episode. Ooh. Are they going to get into it? What he said, those things that he said about not being able to fall in love with a woman like her. No. He didn't mean those words. He didn't mean it. Just tell her the truth. Tell her the truth, Ruby. Yes, finally. Ruby is strong. I really like her. You know, she's really headstrong. She doesn't take crap from anyone. You must be nice. You don't know what's going on in your life. I don't want to. I can't do it. Oh, they're so beautiful together. I love them together so much. <laughs> okay, I. Are they going to get into it? I I don't think I'll be able to show this part. Oh, they're so cute! I love them together so much. I love the chemistry between them.
The chemistry between them just feels so natural and so genuine. Du hast genauso viele Möglichkeiten wie jeder andere. Du musst dir nur nehmen, James. They make such a cute couple. They really do. Immer wenn ich ratlos oder unglücklich bin, schreibe ich es. Das hilft mir motiviert zu bleiben, einen klaren Kopf zu bewahren. Du machst mir das Gefühl. Was wäre der erste Punkt? She's so good for James. She really is. I love seeing them so happy, you know? Now that Ruby knows the truth about, you know, why James was keeping his distance about his father's threats, you know, and she's not afraid of his father. Why do I get the feeling that something bad's going to happen? Like, don't get me wrong, I love that they're happy now and, you know, and they're back together, but I don't know, it just feels too good to be true. I feel like, you know, their happy moments are not going to last. Like something is going to happen. Like I'm worried that James's father is going to find out about them and and yeah and act on his threats. Sooner or later, his father is going to find out about their relationship and find out that they, you know, they are back together and he's going to do something bad. Does this guy have a crush on Lydia? Like, I sort of had a feeling since early in the episode that this guy might have a crush on Lydia just with the way that he keeps looking at her and the way he, like, you know, showed concern for her. I don't know. I, I just think he might have a crush. He might have feelings for Lydia. Hmm. Maybe there might be a love triangle situation, another love triangle situation between Lydia, this guy and the teacher maybe. I don't know, we'll have to wait and see. Is that the chairlift for her father? feeling about this just the music and the whole atmosphere kind of changed Mr. Beaufort erwartet sie yes yeah, something's going on something is happening something bad like I can just feel I can just feel that something's not right what's going on Yes, yeah, something's definitely going on. What's happening? Mm, no, I have a bad feeling about this. Is it about James's mother? What? She's dead? What? Oh my gosh. Sind vorgestern Abend ins Krankenhaus gefahren, aber sie konnten nicht. I I knew that something was wrong with the mother. 
And you had a feeling from last episode that something was going on with her, but I did not expect this. Oh my God! What the hell? Oh no! Poor James. Poor Lydia. James is angry. James is, James is mad, and he has every right to be. He has every right to be because his father kept this a secret. He kept his mother's health problems a secret from James and Lydia. He has every right to be angry. He has every right to react the way that he is reacting. <gasps> oh, I feel so sorry. I feel so bad for James and Lydia. They had no idea about jeder Mensch hat eine Welt voller Möglichkeiten für die. Their mother's condition, about their mother's health, and now suddenly being told that she's dead. Oh my gosh! It's going to. Oh my gosh! This I I don't know. I don't know how James would ever forgive his father for this. James's reaction, and the way that he's looking at Ruby, how close her family is—that's a look of envy, I think, and it's totally understandable because look at how close Ruby is with her family, how happy they are, and when you compare her close relationship with James, James's family. James's family. There's just so much tension, so much distance, and oh, uh, and just a lot of coldness in his family. And that was the season one finale of Maxton Hall. I really enjoyed this episode. I'm glad that James finally told Ruby the truth. That the only reason he was ignoring her and giving. Her the cold shoulder was because his father had threatened to ruin Ruby and her family if James did not break up with Ruby. So he was just trying to protect her and her family from his father. I'm glad that Ruby knows this now and that they are now back together. But I have no doubt that James's father will find out that they're back together and will try to break them up again. I have no doubt. So I'm sure his father will continue to cause more problems for the couple in the future. And now that the show has been renewed for season two, obviously the couple will continue to face more obstacles together in the future. But for now, at least, I'm glad they are happy together again. As for the other characters with Lydia, I'm glad that she has decided to keep her baby. She did not strike me as the type of person who would get an abortion, even though she did not expect to get pregnant. But she seems to really want this baby, and I had a feeling that she was going to keep it. And I wonder when she will tell James and the other. Characters, James and the teacher, especially about the baby, since he is the father of the baby. I think she would probably keep it a secret for a while, probably until she could no longer keep it a secret anymore. But I hope that she will tell the teacher, Mr. Sutton, sooner, since he is the father of the baby, so he has the right to know the truth. But what really surprised me was what happened to James's mother.、Um, And、even though I had suspected that something bad might happen to their mother, I did, I did not expect her to die so soon. I had a feeling that 
something was going on with her like something was wrong with her something wasn't quite right but i wasn't sure what it was i thought maybe she was sick but i didn't expect her to suffer a stroke then die so soon so that was a big shock to me and yeah i'm just sad and disappointed because like i said before i like james's mother and i did not want anything bad to happen to her i wish i was i wish it was james's father who suffered a stroke and died instead i hate james's father but that was unlikely since his father is obviously the main villain of the story so as despicable and horrible as james's father is um his character is very important to the story um anyway their mother's death was also a big shock to james and lydia based on their reactions it's clear that they did not know their mother's health issues which i think was quite cruel they deserve to know the truth about their mother's health um although i understand that their parents did not want them to worry about their health mother's health and get distracted from their studies but this was their mom and they deserve to know what was going on with her they deserve to know the truth before she died and now telling them their mother has was sick and has died it's too late they did not get the chance to say goodbye to her before she died and that's just really cruel so yeah i think james and lydia they should have been told the truth before she died so and so what if knowing the truth about their mom's condition would have distracted them from their studies and potentially affected their chances of getting into oxford i mean they are distracted now i have no doubt that both james and lydia are going to be deeply affected by their mother's death and they will struggle to cope with, with it, both emotionally and mentally and it's going to affect their studies at oxford i hope james will lean on ruby for emotional support because he will need it um lydia also needs emotional support especially now that she's pregnant and having to deal with her mother's death at the same time she will need all the emotional support and help she can get and i hope she can confide in ruby too i really want to see ruby and lydia bonding and become good friends um i also hope that that lydia will confide in her teacher boyfriend even though their relationship is so inappropriate but they have a child together now and they are going to be parents now so they will need each other more than ever and i doubt their callous and very controlling father would give them much emotional support at all he's not a loving father he seems more concerned about his own needs and wants and ambitions he doesn't seem to care about his children's feelings that much so i can definitely see james and lydia turning to other characters for emotional and moral support um another thing that i have noticed is that both their father and the driver clearly knew about their mother's health problems they probably knew for a long time and now that i think about it more i think probably that's why james's parents were pushing so hard for james to be the heir and to one day take over the family business before the mother died she was the ceo of the family business she was in charge of the company but now that you know she was but she and her husband knew that she was dying that she was running out of time so it makes sense that both parents were pushing so hard for James to be the face of this new young Beaufort line and and become the heir and one day take for the business i know that James does not want to be the face of the new line and he does not want to be the heir but now that his mother is gone i think he will reluctantly be accepting of his role in the company and inherit the company one day i think he would do it mostly for his mother's sake but also out of obligation to his family 
I think for the time being, his father will run the family business just until James is old enough to one day take over the business himself. Um, as for Lydia, even though we have seen the in the past that she's a lot more business savvy since the young Beaufort line was her idea and she did write the speech that James was supposed to um, was supposed to give at that conference dinner which he didn't go to um, yeah, so Lydia seems more suited for the job but due to her past scandals their father considers her to be a liability and I just don't see their father ever changing his mind about Lydia especially not after he learns that he would learns that Lydia Lydia's what was dating her teacher and got pregnant and he will find out eventually so I just don't see Lydia ever taking over the business even though she probably wants to so it's up to James to inherit the business in the future um, overall this was a solid episode and a solid season finale and um, I really enjoyed season one a lot and I look forward to season two anyway now that I've finished reacting to season one of Maxton Hall I'm currently on the hunt for a new show to react to. I watch a lot of TV shows and movies, but I'm confused about which one to react to next. Obviously, I won't be able to react to all the TV shows and movies that I watch because I watch a lot of them. But I'm confused about which shows or movies to react to or what my subscribers my subscribers want me to react to so if anyone has any suggestions on what shows or movies you want me to react to next then feel free to leave a comment below i can't guarantee that i'll be able to react to all of the shows and movies suggested but i'd love to know what you guys think and what you want me to react to anyway if you enjoyed this reaction video then please hit that like button and if you want to watch my reaction videos to the previous episodes then you can check out my Maxton Hall playlist. I will put the link to that playlist in the description box below and if you want to watch more reaction videos from me in the future then please subscribe to my channel. Thank you everyone for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye!